Walking along Charlestown, wishing you were in Bannerstrand. Holding your nephew's hands, we walked along the waterfront, up Bunker, down on me. We met at the monument where everyone knew our names. Our first kiss on 40 flights, our friends on the stoop on summer nights. The church door was always open as the bells rang out for you and me, for all to see on a wedding day. There's an immigrant soul under southern stars. Hi, and welcome to Charlestown Live. I'm Kathy Giordano, your host for tonight's show. It's a pleasure to be with you. First, we are so thrilled in Charlestown. Our host, Danny Ryan, has won. He's been victorious in his, uh, his race for the uh, House of Representatives. So Dan will be our House of Representatives for our district and that in Chelsea. And um, th there's one more hurdle that we have to do. The fine that was the preliminary, and um, April 1st will be the final. There'll be no one else on the ballot with Danny, but people can write in, and uh, we wouldn't want to see anything happen. So mark your calendar, April 1st. You got to get out and uh, give, uh, vote one more time for Daddy Ryan. Okay, my uh, guests haven't uh, come yet, but I'm told that they just entered into the control room, so we're going to take a little break while they get their mics on. We'll be back in a minute. Thank you. Hi, I'm back. Guests arrived. I'll introduce them in a minute. It's going to be a really special show. But I have one announcement before we get into it. The Bunk Hill Associates will hold their second annual, annual trivia night on uh, Saturday, March 22nd. The deadline to sign up your team to participate is Friday, March 4th. You'll have uh, go to the co-op bank or the Warren Tavern and pick up an application to sign up your uh, team. So if you have uh, any questions, give me a call at 617-447-1406. Great. Okay. North meets south tonight, okay? Uh, we're going to do something very unique. And uh, our sister city, in everything Irish, South Boston, has arrived. They are here. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to Tom McGrath, and Representative Nick Collins. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you, you for, having for having us. And let me, let me tell everybody, too, that Nick is the son of 
our former state representative, Jimmy Collins. Yep. And we all remember Jimmy. He's been around. Of course, we've had a great victory in Charlestown this week. Very excited for Charlestown. Getting our guy in. So uh, Jimmy, of course, was at the celebration party. Yep. He was our last elected representative in any political seat. Yeah, that shows you the resilience of Charlestown. That's right. That's right. So, without further ado, Tommy, what's yes. going to be happening in, in South Boston? Well, first, Cookie, uh, I want to congratulate Danny Ryan. Uh, my in-laws go way back with the Ryans, and congratulations to Danny from Neil Donalds and McGrath from South Boston, and um, good luck. And uh, if you ever need any help, give us a call. We're uh, willing to help since we got that little connection. So uh, moving on, Cookie, um, last Saturday we um, started our uh, Jimmy Flaherty kickoff events. Uh, we give out five Unsung Hero Awards to uh, people that just do uh, things uh, above and beyond and without recognition. And we, we felt uh, Mike Beer, the late Mike Beer, felt it was time to recognize these people. So we do our research. We meet like in January. Nick was, the, is, was announced the uh, general chairman of the event. So we, 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 we get all the nominations and we, we rifle through them and we come up with what we thought were the best five for this year. And we had a packed house at the breakfast. And um, it's just a great way to start off the events. That is a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, they kick off at uh, our favorite place, the Cornerstone in South Boston. Yeah, Cornerstone. <laughs> we, got, we got a good pr price down there, good price break, so but, uh, rent is good. The only rent in Southie that's good right now. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. I'm from Charlestown. Yeah. So, okay, what else is, is coming or happening? Well, yeah, we have, um, I mean, I'm honored this year to be the, the, the general chairman again, and um, I love this time of year, uh, not just because we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day, which is uh, like our Super Bowl. On our, on our side of the city, but um, <clears throat> we will get to re remember our history, which I know Charleston does every year in June. And you mentioned mm -hmm. the Muggy Hill Associates. I like going to that event. Mm -hmm. It's uh, usually a great turnout, and we're, we're very proud of our history in South Boston with respect to the American Revolution. Uh, and that's one thing that <clears throat> the Citizens Association is tasked with every year through these events is recognizing that history because a lot of people forget that it's not just about St. Patrick's Day but about the founding of our nation and that's uh, something that we take very seriously right. and these events help us do that and uh, we pretty much hit every category of uh, the population if you, if, you, if you look at our event list from the senior citizens to the youth and everything in between so and that's the way to do it. That's, that's the, the way, way to yeah. celebrate it. I mean, I remember it. when, uh, you know, 40 years ago, uh, they're coming into the schools and making us do the, not making us, uh, the poster and essay contest, and, and we're still doing that uh, today. Um, the topics vary. Uh, but tomorrow night's uh, is like the granddaddy of them all is the boxing show. I believe it's in its 70th year, over 70 years, and uh, Peter Walsh donates his gym with his professional boxing staff down there, trains the kids from uh, mid-January right up until fight night, and uh, we're expecting uh, 200, 200, 250 uh, spectators. Free admission, uh, just go up there and cheer on all the kids. Well, tell the people that don't live in South Boston where, the name again of the club, and where is it? The, 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 the boxing matches will be held at the, uh, the Old Pal uh, Muni McDonough Gym. It's changed Wall all Center. over the yeah. Walsh Center. Up behind the courthouse. Up behind the courthouse on East Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, parking is tough, so you know if you're taking the subway, just get off at um, Broadway. Uh, at um, I and Broadway, and you can get right into the front way. Very good, thank yeah. you. And um, I, I don't know if Tommy's going to tell you what his record was, but I'm one and one in my boxing matches on St. Patrick's Day, so. All right. I'll, I'm, I'm now, even. When we get into Tommy, though, we're probably talking about all his boxing matches in the ring and outside. Yeah, oh, I'm, uh, I'm not going to speak to that. I'm a loving auto fighter cookie. You know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> all. But uh, but again, it's a great it's a great way. All these events and the essay po postal contest is important. Um, but the, the sporting events, the civic events, and the educational events that remind kids every year and the mm -hmm. families um, for the next generation will know exactly how, how we started out as a nation, how important it was in South Boston, and, and, uh, and that you know it's, it's significant that we must remind ourselves of that every year. Let me say to the audience, too, I forgot to remind you that this is a live call-in show, 617-708-3290. And let me add to that, as producer of Charlestown Live, I will not accept phone calls from anyone that has anything derogatory to say about the parade. That is off limits tonight. We're talking about all the events leading up to Evacuation Day slash St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. Sorry, gentlemen. No, that's okay. You. Just on the parade, we, we don't have anything to do with the parade anyways. We, we march in it, and, and we have the kids miss ice around. We get the convertibles. It's all about the kids and family, so that's, that's our take on it. Mm -hmm. um, Sadly, what's going on, but we could end it there. It's politics, and we don't yeah, talk politics no. here at Chelsea. Not today. No, no. 
So okay, what else is uh, coming? So um, we got a, um, there's a, there's a group uh, in South Boston that's very dear to our heart. It's the South Boston Special uh, Needs Kids. And um, my aunt was a big uh, volunteer in that, Mary Sissy Devine, and um, she passed on. So we uh, named an award after her. So in their group, we, we pass on an award to one of their volunteers of the year. And that, that uh, celebration will be held on uh, Saturday night at the uh, Cornerstone again, a good mm -hmm. price on the rent. <laughs> um, and uh, another, we, we've raised some good money for that group. They take them away in May. Harry Allman, Kathy Morrison, they do a great job with those kids down at the Yacht Club every Sunday. Um, and and it, we just we just fell in love with them, and, and we try to do what we can for them. That's wonderful. I didn't know you did yeah, that. That is yeah. really unique. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. Well, there's good. a lot of great causes that yeah. uh, that play at this time of year, and we we uh, we get to flush our uh, bad jokes and our bad singing out of the way. M most of the time, we're participating in the hosting of these events, so it gets us prepared for the big day on St. Patrick's Day. But uh, probably my favorite event, and um, I've been involved in it uh, for probably the past four years is on the 17th, um, we have a series of events, the historical exercises, uh, starting with the Mass at St. Augustine's Chapel, mm -hmm. heading up to uh, Dorchester Heights um, for a, a commemoration, and then uh, taking a busload of people over to Roxbury, where we partner up with my, um, my partner in crime, uh, Gloria Fox over there, who, who brings us over to Fort Hill, which is where all this artillery was uh, put together and fortified before it was brought over to Dorchester Heights, which is you know why we celebrate on the 17th. Uh, so kind of highlighting the partnership that we have and the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the joint history, and we've been having fun the last several years uh, celebrating that. Actually, uh, picking up from um, you know the late Mike Bear, who, yes. who thought that was that was important, and we've carried that tradition on, and, and it's something probably my favorite event of the. Of the yeah, and we do have a surprise uh, this year. Um, all you all you that knew Mike Bear, he was a Cannon fanatic. And through the efforts of Bob Allison and the Historical Society, we do have a cannon coming up there on the 17th. Um, George Lacascio was supposed to pick it up this week, and we should have it for Monday on the 17th. That's fantastic. But we have a phone call. Oh. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. You there? No, I guess they. Shy dial. Couldn't we? <laughs> call us back. That's fantastic. And and uh, folks, there was a program on BNN. I'll come back to that. Uh, here's our caller again. Hello, caller. Hi, Cookie. Hi, I'm, Jean. I'm only home tonight because I'm, I'm too sick to go out to the other function. However, I'm glad I caught you people. I want to uh, wish Danny Ryan good luck. I'm, I voted for him, I'm proud to say. Um, and I want to wish you guys good luck. I hope you have a wonderful day. I know it's always a traumatic experience during the 17th of June festivities, whether it's going to be rainy or cold mm. or hot or whatever. And I hope the weather is good for you guys, and I'm going to look forward to seeing the breakfast, which I always watch. Um, but I will miss Jack Hart this year. Um, good luck to you all, and uh, have a good show. Thank you, Jean. Okay, Thank dear. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. And now I forget what I was talking about, so let's move on. Sure. Okay. Well, she mentioned the weather. The first yeah. uh, uh, parade I marched in was as a candidate oh. for state rep. It was a monsoon. Yeah. I had about 30 friends of mine, and we, we marched the whole way, and it was ah. insane. So we'll be there rain or shine. And let's hope, if anything, it's rain and not snow. Yeah. No, no we go two years ago, it was 80 degrees. 80 yeah, degrees, people in shots. Know. Sometimes yeah. we get lucky, yeah. You don't know. Just Luck of the Irish, right? That's right. That's right. So, okay, what else? Um, actually, uh, Saturday morning, we uh, will feed 200 seniors. Uh, the Tommy and Eddie Butler Senior Salute, two uh, active members in our association. Um, and we decided to name that event after them. They, they, they love that event. Um, Tommy was a, a stalwart uh, promoting that event, and we, we decided we got to keep it going, and uh, we named it after him and his brother. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, and uh, we have a nice band. The Mike Reynolds band will come in, and actually the elected officials will come in and try one of their two jokes again, and um, <laughs> for the litmus Stick test, to the I singing. guess, um, for Sunday's breakfast. Um, and there'll be a lot of dancing and singing. Um, I let Nick do all the singing with uh, Council Lenahan and Flaherty. Um, I, I do the Millie Vanilli take on. Uh, oh, I'd like to I'm, see I'm that. I'm the best lip syncer around. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so that that is really quite a week. Yeah. Uh, two weeks. Weekend. Yeah, that's just yeah, a weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Some years it actually moment. starts in February. Yeah, last Saturday February. in February. No, yeah. leap year this year. So it didn't happen. It didn't happen. We got a week vacation. But you really know how to celebrate in South Boston, St. Patrick. Yeah, you yeah, really do. You know, uh, tradition. And yeah, you draw people from everywhere. Yeah, it's watch actually the parade. the parade typically is twice the size of the of the crowd that comes to the Boston Marathon. Wow. 
Which, which is going to speak to, I think, some of the security issues we may have to take a look at leading into that. Uh, there's a lot of um, work and planning getting done to prepare for the Boston Marathon this year, mm. as you can imagine. Mm. This will be the first event this size since the Boston Marathon. So, um, but as I said, you know, depending on the weather, it could be you know anywhere between five to hundred thousand. Usually, it's about six hundred fifty to a million. Um, and uh, so that's something that as we get closer, we're gonna have to take a look at. We've gotten great cooperation with the city and the state mm -hmm. agencies on that. So we're, um, we think we'll be ready for it. Oh, you will be. And I did a little research getting ready for the show. Mm -hmm. And I learned that the St. Patrick's Day Parade in South Boston, Massachusetts, is the second largest parade in the nation. I did, I, Behind New York, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's fantastic. And, and it's, you know, there's been back and forth on, on you know, the, the military's role in the parade. Actually, the first parades were celebrated by the military, by militia during the, during the war. Uh, George Washington was very uh, keen to the fact that they were a, a significant part of the revolutionary uh, forces. And on 17th, when evacuation day happened in 1776, that was the password to get up to right. Dorchester Heights, St. Patrick. Patrick. So the first parades and the first celebrations on, on St. Patrick's Day on March mm -hmm. 17th, uh, in the United States were actually done by the military. The military regiments, Irish military regiments. And you still have a large contingent of military that participate? Oh yeah, no, yeah. it's significant. Yeah. Um, they, obviously, they obviously run the parade and uh, we have bands, um, military bands that come in, we have military contingents and you know, it's, it's a great day for the kids. There's obviously a wide variety of um, uh, entertainment throughout the day and like you said, as long as it's a good day, we'll, we should see a good it. crowd. Yeah. You know, and I, my favorite, of course, is the bagpipers. Ah, the oh, bagpipers, yeah. they're, they're just my favorite. And I remembered what I was saying, that um, I wanted folks, if this guy next to me, Tom McGrath, looks familiar to you, the former Citizens Corner, which was child, uh, South Boston's show on BNN for many years, and um, the producer was Mike Bear, and wonderful friend of Charlestown Live. Mike helped us tremendously as we started out. Yeah. Myself and Peter Looney, he became a very good friend. And Mike McGrath was you did the sports shows, is that correct? I, yeah, I did the sports, and I, I filled in when Mike, um, mm -hmm. you know, ne needed me too. And uh, I, you know, I learned a great lot from uh, from Michael. And uh, it, it's fun. It's it's time consuming, as you know. Yes, um, yeah. Waiting patiently for your guests to show up on time, <laughs> or if they respond to emails. <laughs> but. Um, the problem me and Nick had today, we couldn't find a parking spot. There was all cones out there still. Cones everywhere. Cones People everywhere. People saving parking spots over here. <laughs> over here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, well, I think Charlestown went to Southie and picked up the best ones. <laughs> and we're saving them. <laughs> we beat the mayor. Use them for street hockey. Huh? Yeah, there, you know. Yeah. So that's great. So we, we talked about what's leading up to uh, March 17th and the great patriotic event that's taking place on the actual day, March 17th. And now I know you, you really do cater to every aspect of the community. There, there's a, you have the great big luncheon for the seniors, yep. and then I know the elderly commission from the city of Boston also has they do a big this luncheon. the week after, yep. yeah. Yeah, it's been the last probably 20 years it's been that way. Right, yeah, um, and yeah. they draw a big crowd yep. too. Yep. Yep. Can I ask you a personal question? By March 18th, are you really tired of corned beef and cabbage? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Now let me ask we, you another we, we question. We get our fill for the year. <laughs> they don't serve corned beef and cabbage at the breakfast, do they? They do. They don't. I think they no, corned beef, beef and hash, right? Yeah. Oh, hash. Yeah, really good. I like hash. the hash. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I that's often right. wondered what you eat before you come on the year and we yeah. get to see that fantastic show. We'll, we'll have it Friday night, uh, next Friday night, our annual... Uh, Citizens Association I banquet. They're uh, recognizing at the event. There was some some good awardees that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we can get into that, but we'll, we'll we have to get um, Father Joe White to come in and give us a blessing. Special so, uh, dispensation. Special dispensation. Yeah. yeah, he usually yeah. does. We'll see yeah. if we yeah. get but that. Something uh, like that. We have to honor St. Patrick. Get that touch. Yes. So okay, who are the special um, well, I'll just, can I, I just want to do the events in between before. Um, okay, before you kick home, we have another phone call. Go, go, go. Hello, uh, Carla. Uh, hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Uh, um, yeah, are you all the way over there in Charlestown? No, we're actually in Roxbury. Oh, all right, because the two guys are from Southie, and, and you guys are in Charlestown. I'm kind of all confused. Well, you know, it's a confusing world. But, you know, out of the goodness of our heart, Charlestown opened our show tonight 
to the good people in South Boston so they could get the word out on what's taking yeah. place. I, I know these two guys. No, they always badmouth Charlestown. Do they? <laughs> All the time. All right, so can I ask them to leave right now? They're so mean-spirited about it, too. Are They're they not really? kidding, either. They really hate it. See, I'm going to take the better person's role and just make them welcome. Okay? Well, it's about time. Maybe that's what they need. They need love in their hearts. Okay, that's really the Southie sense of humor, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes, yeah. and that's the Charlestown sense of humor or baloney that you just served for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your call. Um, leading back to the the, the, the the events for the youth, we have um, the Ice Arama this weekend tied in with the John Cunoff Shamrock Shootout Hockey uh, Tournament. Charlestown is in that tournament. They've been a participant for probably, the, this is the 12th year, I think they've been in 11 out of the 12. Uh, maybe one year they had a state tournament, they couldn't put a team in, but um, they're, they're there for us every year. That's good. Um, we do the uh, Miss Isorama, the hot puck shooting, speed skating. What is the Isorama? Isorama is just, it's just what it's called. It's all, all the events are down the rink, and Miss Isorama will be crowned the best oh, figure skater for the wow, day. Wow. She gets to go in the parade in the Corvettes. Um, it's a, it's a nice little take for the kids. Um, then we have the uh, senior, the uh, 21 plus event, and I welcome Charlestown Bowlers to come over to South Boston Bowl. And uh, it's a 21 plus event, uh, refreshments, uh, pizza, and competition for the best bowlers. Maybe we can have a little South Boston Charlestown battle. Uh, hey, that would be good. Battle. Bring and, back uh, the rivalry. Bring back the rivalry, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people don't probably realize those. About I, well, we don't have any local bowling alleys close to Charlestown anymore, but we, we could still beat you. Yeah, come on <laughs> over, come okay. on over, just to get out of the house. Hey, I went to doldrums. It's been a long winter. Yes. So what else? And then uh, we have the basketball free throw and the swimming Monday, Tuesday, and a new two new events, the ping pong and the bumper pool competition. Freddie Hearn and Barbara Caputo Kelly from the uh, Curly Rec Center come up with that idea, so we're going to try it. And then uh, Friday night, we have the, uh, the banquet that we were talking about. We give out more awards, uh, the McCormick Award, uh, the President's Award, um, the Executive Board Award. And uh, Speaker DeLeo will be receiving the McCormick Award this year. And uh, oh, nice. uh, Nick uh, will probably want to talk to that more. Yeah, no, I mean, we've, you know, I got a connection with the speaker. He's a Boston Latin School grad, as I am. The speaker grew up in East Boston, so on the other side of Charlestown, I guess. Um, and uh, the speaker's been great, you know, recognizing the history here in Boston, both Bunker Hill Day and Evacuation Day, you know, while they were those two, what I consider some of the most significant events in our country's history, have been attacked over the years. You know, the speaker has always been uh, supportive and recognizing that history, along with a lot of leaders up on Beacon Hill. But uh, for, for someone that um, is in leadership, I think that, that took a lot of courage. And, and uh, we want to recognize him for that and for all he's done for, uh, for the city of Boston and, and for the state in his time. And <clears throat> fittingly, uh, the award is named after former speaker John W. McCormick. That was from South Boston, mm -hmm. different branch of government uh, down in Washington. But uh, so we thought that that award was fitting for the speaker. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. That is great. I just got the two-minute warning. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You, anything else you want to get um, in here? Also, award, yeah. you have a, the President's Award? Just talk about some of that. Yeah, but if, if people are interested in any of our events, it's on our Facebook page, uh, South Boston Citizens Association. Um, you can check that out. Um, the other award, Nick, the President's Award is um, given out in memory of uh, Michael Bear and uh, Tommy Butler, past presidents. Two great guys. And uh, I think Mayor Marty Martin Walsh is getting that, uh, being Wonderful. the 54th mayor of Boston. Uh, Mike Bear was big in recovery. Uh, Marty had a path to recovery. Uh, we thought it was fitting, uh, and congratulate him on his uh, his uh, victory as mayor. Um, what else? Are you no, those are two big ones. Two, those are two big ones. Then we then we have the two Shamrock Awards, which will be um, uh, unveiled in the local papers next week. Uh, so we'll hold all on Facebook Sunday night. We'll let them out. So if you're interested, if you're interested, there's no one watching tonight. You don't want to just tell me what who they are. No, no, we can't oh, do it. We can't well, do I it. I tried, folks. Let the secret out. <laughs> the Secret Society, St. Patrick. <laughs> so if anyone's interested in coming to the uh, the banquet, uh, give me a call, 857-204-5825, and I can give you uh, more information on that. And give them the website again. Uh, we, we don't have a website. We, we use a Facebook, Facebook, South Boston Citizens Association, and uh, every, every um, the essay, poster, contest uh, guidelines are there, the events, every event is on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... I think it's a great, great uh, opportunity for, for Charlestown to see what they helped us produce. You know, if it wasn't for Bunker Hill Day, we wouldn't have 
evacuation day and it's a great time of year to celebrate, get ready for the spring. Two wonderful, wonderful celebrations yeah. in honor of our history and, yeah. and the freedoms we have today. Right. And thank you, Howie Carr, for taking away our holidays. So that's, that's <laughs> it, and I guess I have to wrap up. I thank, thank you, you both sincerely thank for you, finally Cookie. getting here yeah. and uh, appearing on the show. Yeah, thank you. It was we'll awesome. have to do this before next year again. We'll have to sure. uh, That'd be bring great. you back, okay? Yep. Please say hi to your dad for I me. I will. Thank you. And yeah. again, congratulations to the people of Charlestown and Danny Ryan, the new state rep. We're so thrilled. Looking forward to working with them. So thrilled. We're so thrilled. Our own former host, Danny Ryan. He sat in the seat. Really? He hosted now, the show? Yes, he did. Cool. Of course, now we can't have him come back because he's... Too he's, busy. Yeah, he's our rep. So, so okay. good things come from the seat. So, Cookie, watch out. You may no, be going I, somewhere. No, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to go home tonight. Okay, that's it for this week. Next week, Billy Boyle will be on, and he's going to talk about everything to do with St. Patrick's Day in God's country, Charlestown. So uh, tune in next Thursday night and watch Billy Boyle. In the meantime, let me thank our partner, Charlestown Against Drugs, and our sponsor, the... Um, Pilgrim's Healthcare. Charlestown, good night. God bless you. And continue to take care of each other. Until next time, good night.